Hey YouTube, <clears throat> um, this is an update to a video that I posted earlier this morning. I just got up, um, I was tired, sleepy, wasn't, wasn't firing on all thrusters and um, generally sounded a little bit, well, asleep basically. So um, that video was um, a complaint about DLNA um, not working or non-existent on the Samsung Galaxy S6. Um, I've had this I had this phone for two days or so, um, but I found a workaround that I just want to share with uh, with all you guys who uh, have invested in this phone right here. So, without further ado, um, what I did was. And I don't know why I didn't do this last night because I was I was playing with it last night trying to get various um, apps to work to get DLNA back on the phone. Um, it used to work with uh, my old phone. Well, it still works with my old phone, which is the S4, which is uh, which came built in, um, so I didn't have to download anything. Uh, this one I did have to install uh, an app, and this app is called. Um, bubble UPNP so this is what I did uh, you go into uh, Play Store and um, you know you can type in something like DLNA um, and do a search and you will find various um, uh, apps um, to support streaming one of which is this one I just picked this one out, um, out of the list once you've installed it just go ahead and open it and uh, you won't see this screen. What you'll see, um, if I can, let's see if I can close it first. Let's exit. So let's say you've installed it, and there's the icon on, on your uh, home screen. Um, hit that. Okay, you probably get this. You'll see. You'll get up in the top left-hand corner. Bubble uh, UPnP is running. Uh, what you need to do then is let me just bring this a little bit closer. Top left-hand corner. Hit that um, menu. Bring the side menu up. Uh, you make sure that the local renderer is obviously your your phone, which has all your media on it, whether it be videos or music. Uh, Click on the media drop down, and we've got folders for music, um, video, images, and file system. Um, I'll be demonstrating with uh, some music. There's no, there's, there's actually no music on here yet. I haven't got, I haven't got that far with this phone yet. Uh, I've got a whole bunch of music I want to put on this later. Uh, now I know for, uh, I know that there's still there's some Samsung, some Samsung music on here somewhere. So I know that it's in here. So just navigate down to where your music is uh, and I think you go into there and then you get this screen and what I did was just hit the plus and that adds it to um, the uh, playlist which you didn't see I'll just hit that again so you get that there when that happens um, it is now in the um, in the stream, ready to be played by uh, by the by the TV. Now, if all goes to plan, I should be. You can come straight out of this now, so you can see the menu and my battery is flashing. So I'll be as quick as I can before it runs out. Uh, my TV is an LG uh, smart TV, so I've got this cable network, network cable in the back. Uh, so I go my media, um, I go music, and you'll. Sh I have uh, the bubble UPnP. Uh, server running there as well as my S4 which is still running as well. Click on the bubble UPnP it says loading and um, well I've tried you know I've done this previously so uh, let's go back up let's go up a second if I go up come on Well, okay, well, I'll just play it. As you can see, it's playing. 
So it does work. It's not very loud, but... That's just the, um, the Samsung music that came with the phone, basically. Uh, let's stop that. Yeah, so I can go through all, you know, go right up to the top. Various artists and... and so you've got options of... Um, if I can just tilt the tripod up a little bit and keep it steady. So music, video, images any files they're all basically available um, so anything any, any media any content that you want to share from your phone and stream to your TV you can do that uh, with the help of a third-party app um, I don't know what happened last night I think I experimented with about uh, five different um, DLNA streaming apps uh, couldn't get them to work but I think I was I was tired because you know, I do a lot of traveling in my job, I do a lot of driving and I just um, was getting increasingly frustrated with um, you know not being able to stream to my TV anymore because I, I you know I, I enjoy doing that with my S4 and um, you know when I was struggling with my S6 last night I was getting more and more well pissed off basically <laughs> so but um, obviously it's good to go away come back you know sleep on things come back the next day and try again because you know most of the time you'll find a solution um, there are loads and loads of um, of uh, different apps that uh, you can you can download and install to put it back on the s6 so um, so yeah just wanted to uh, just to let you guys know that you can get it back on there and um, it is not um, you know it's not it's not um, it's not a permanent loss I hope um, you enjoyed the video and um, I hope it helps and uh, as not as usual just leave a comment or if you have any questions um, just give me a shout okay see you later bye bye